here strictly hustling off the muscle, man. We got some more shit coming, man. We just dropped some shit yesterday. When, when the last time we dropped that, we paid? Man, that shit was That was recent. like last week, like two or three like days ago, we dropped, we paid, man. That's on um, YouTube, you know what I'm saying? That little baby in 42 Dub. You know what I'm saying? Freestyle, we 42, paid, man. Yeah. We um, dropped that foul back, too. I think we dropped that foul back like oh, three months ago. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? That's but shit, we got play. more shit coming. You know what I'm saying? Shit, we got shit. Y'all still working on his mixtape. You know what I'm saying? We Man, got more shit. Man, bro. Nigga, really just. I got like two mixtapes that nigga I dropped. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shit, there it is right there. Nigga, right. Fuck that shit. up? Okay. So, um, answer me this then, um. When y'all started the music, uh, when did y'all realize like, okay, uh, this is something, this is something that um I want to do or whatever? Because everybody, we always had this point to where we look at something and we say, you know what, maybe I can do this shit for a living or whatever. When did y'all had that moment? One time, my um cousin had a studio in his house uh, at my mom at my auntie house. And shit, in the studio wood, I lived in my grandma house on Dale High. He lived in my auntie house right around the corner, which is Leland. So shit, every time I get out of school, I go over there and see, watch him and his homeboys freestyle and rap. That shit was just loud in the, loud in the bitch to me. I used to uh, listen to a whole bunch of Tupac and Zero and Lil Wayne and shit. And I'm like, I'm gonna do that shit one day. So shit, that was my chance right then and now. The first time I went for it, shit, they ain't like this shit. Everybody laughed at me. But shit, I went back and wrote my raps and shit. Then I came back and recorded the shit, you know what I'm saying? And it was live in the bitch. Was like, hell yeah, this is what I'm gonna do, you know what I'm saying? This is what I'm gonna start doing, rapping. Yeah, yeah, that's how I started out with that shit. Shit, like on my end, like it was like, <clears throat> we was playing around with it, you know what I'm saying? It was really motivation. Me and my homie, who I started off with, you know what I'm saying? My brother for life, you know what I'm saying? Leroy Gusson, you heard me? We started off because our motivation, we wanted to be the first niggas from New Orleans East to represent New Orleans East. Because at the time, you know what I'm saying, we, we talk about New Orleans, for the most everybody talk about Uptown. Shout out to Uptown, fuck around, you know, I got Buku Potter from Uptown, you heard me, Zion City, Cali, you know what I'm saying, 17, whatever, you know what I'm saying. But we had wanted to be the first two niggas, you know what I'm saying, to put our side on the map. So that was what, you know, motivated me, you know what I'm saying. And, this shit really like a lifestyle to a nigga, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like a hobby, it's a lifestyle, you feel me? Like I, I just had got off from work and came to this interview, you feel me? Like nah, you don't do shit right like that, you don't do shit like that for how, and I might, and I could get called right now, you know what I'm saying? They had to go handle something, you know what I'm saying? But this shit a part of my life, this is what I do, you know what I'm saying? It ain't a headache, I love this shit, you know what I'm saying? So it ain't work. You feel me? It's a lifestyle. Okay, okay. Shit, what about you, bro? Man, um, a nigga used to always freestyle my cousins, bro. I had a cousin named Brandon. I used to look up to him. Like, he really made me to the man I am now as far as, like, being 10 toes and standing on what I believe in. You know what I'm saying? Because I was raised by grandma. And, you know, if most people was raised by their grandma, you know how this shit go. And my big cousin, Rosa, he broke me out that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, well, he wound up getting killed. That's the thing. And uh, when he got killed, you know what I'm saying? That's what he was doing. Like, bro, you couldn't tell this nigga nothing, bro. Like, he be like, hey, bro, what you finna do today? This nigga, he say what I finna do today. Da, 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 then start yeah, rapping yeah, on some like every time. That's all, all he the did time. Was rap. Yeah. You uh, know, my nigga Lee, what I was. Shit, he wanted to get killed, and I did. I started, you know what I'm saying, rapping. When he got popped, you know what I'm saying. But really, I take that back. When he got popped, I went left. Kind of a uh, robbery case, you know what I'm saying, and uh, got locked up. And I was in the tank with a lot of Fifth Ward niggas. And uh, you know the Fifth Ward niggas be on that rap shit like a motherfucker. And the nigga, uh, my city, this nigga was rapping. And I was like, man, that shit sound loud, bro. I was like, hey, I'm going to write some shit, bro. Let me know what you think. So the next day, you know what I'm saying, shit, I wrote some shit. I wrote a song called These Niggas Don't Know because that's how I was feeling. So many niggas was capping that bitch. I was locked up with a nigga. You know what I'm saying? I say his name. You know what I'm saying? Nigga named Big Nate. You know what I'm saying? The nigga uh, talking about he had 362 bricks at the house. And I'm like, nigga, if you got 362 bricks at the house, why the fuck you in this hole, nigga? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, he was just a lot of cap ass niggas, bro, in that hole. And I'm like, really, shit, everything, I'm spinning this shit for real, but these niggas don't know. And I kept saying, man, these niggas don't know. And I made a song called These Niggas Don't Know. You know what I'm saying? I let, let my silly hit that motherfucker. And he was like, man, that shit hard. And I was like, for real? And I was like, nah, I don't 
think so, bro. So he was that, like, that try to get, to, like, get you to uh, I had, you keep it. Bro, that nigga say, bro, I give you my whole commissary bag, bro. Like, fam wasn't finna have nothing to eat. The only thing fam would go eat was chop. So I'm like, bro, I give you my whole commissary bag, bro. And when I get out this bitch, I go drop this bitch. And I was like, hell no, nah, nigga, I'm gonna keep my shit. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that shit started. But my big cousin, Brandon, he play a big role in that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I do it for. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, I speak about him a lot in my music, you know what I'm saying? He was fucked up how he got killed, you know? God damn. That was some deep shit from all y'all. No bullshit, man. Okay, okay, shit on. Um, well, shit on. Um, I know you got songs with Pow Wow and all that. Um, Explain how them um, features came together, bro. Explain that to me because that's really how um I had got on to you from that um, song you did with Pow Wow. I don't know how I seen it, but it... Cam, came Appreciate came across my feed and I was like, man, whoever this dude is, man, got something. And that's really kind of put me on on you and then on uh, y'all movement and all that. Oh, Paul, wow, man, that's the big bro, man. He he helped me out a lot. He gave me a big push. Uh, he hit me up on the ground. It's like, hey, bro, you got any songs that you think I sound fire on? Just send it to me, bro. So Paul Wall had hit you. Yeah. Damn. Cause like I had I been tapping in with him. Sending him my baby mama music, you know what I'm saying? My baby mama, she she got a song called Come Outside. And I sent it to him and I was like, check my uh oh, yes, you pro. I sent I sent it to him, I was like, check these two females out, her and her cousin on the song Come Outside. And I was like, check these two females out, bro, they go hard, bro. What you think? And he sent me some fireballs back. And that's how the conversation spark, you know what I'm saying? He was like, Yeah, that shit live, bro, but if you got some music that you think I sound good on, send it my way. He saw me his number and shit, and we had locked in from there. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Damn. All the real nigga he too. Real he came to the video, he came one deep. One he was deep. Humble. No security. He was humble. Of one course, deep. like, he went deep, but wasn't, a, wasn't no nigga gonna touch him while we on service. Right. No security. You know what I'm saying? But he, he a real he a real good dude, hey. humble. You security. know what I'm saying? Wall, wall, real, man. God that nigga saw that boy, uh, Lil Flip. Yeah, my nigga Young Protege, shout out to my nigga Young Protege, Focus E and T, C C G, Clear City Gorillas. How sure. did that come together with um Lil Flip? My boy Young Protege, like you know what I'm saying? He 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 be putting in work too, you know what I'm saying? He he Flip had asked him to do a song and shit. And uh he ain't really had to do the shit. That wasn't even my that wasn't even my play. That was really his play, you know what I'm saying? Flip asked him to do a song. And yeah. he just was like, hey, bro, you want to hop on a song with me and Flip? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I want to hop on a song with you and Flip. You know what I'm saying? And that's how that came, you know, video coming soon, the music video coming soon. And uh, got some music coming with J-Dog, too. Me, me, Trey Hayes, and then we got some music coming with J-Dog, too.